Don the Window Cleaner is back, and today I'm talking about taxes. I can't believe I haven't covered this one sooner. Anyway, um, let me begin by telling you that uh, I believe in being compliant with uh, the taxing authority. Now, I can only speak uh, from experience with the U.S. taxing authorities, the Internal Revenue Service. Uh, you Canadians out there and wherever else you're from, uh, I don't know what the deal is with your taxing authority and how the compliance works. But here in the U.S., let me tell you, it's a good idea to pay your taxes. And the thing is, you know, that is what runs the government. It's, I think it's only the ethical thing to do. Uh, there is an income tax. You may not be happy about it. I am not one of these tax protesters. I mean, I want to pay less taxes, but... I, you know, I, I'm compliant with the law. I would just as soon sleep the sleep of the righteous, uh, knowing that that's not hanging over my head. And, but the thing is, there are things that you can do to pay less taxes. Now, when I was first in business, and I didn't know anything, uh, as soon as I made some money, I went right down to the IRS office. And I said, okay, I made some money. What do I do? And they gave me um, a form for filing self-employed as a sole proprietor. Well, okay, that was all right. Uh, one of the things that I had to put money away for was um, the Social Security tax. Back in those days, um, self-employed people paid like 9 point something percent, which I thought was kind of high, but I thought, well, you know, if I were working for someone else and I was paying what at that time was uh, six point something percent, I don't remember what, uh, my employer would match it. And since there was no employer to match it, um, I was not, I was kind of matching my own, but they kind of gave me a break at the same time. So I thought, okay, I can live with that. And I did that for several years. And after a while, oh my gosh, I was just paying so much. Uh, I wasn't really making all that much money. And one year, I actually sold a house in order to uh, pay them back. I was just, you know, behind thousands of dollars. I'm paying them taxes. And uh, I talked to a friend about it. I was complaining. And he said, uh, gee, Don, it doesn't seem like you owe enough money or that you make enough money to be owing that much in taxes. Why don't you go see my accountant? So we did. We went to see him, and he thought we were crazy because we were filing self-employed. He says, L listen, he says, you have got to form a uh, subchapter S corporation, and what you'll do is you will, um, by then the rate had gone up to 15.3% Social Security. You were matching your own. Uh, he says, uh, rather than paying it on the whole amount that you make, what you do is you set up the corporation and you pay yourself uh, some salary, some weekly salary, and uh, uh, the employee, that's me, pay 7.15%. The employer, also me, pay 7.15% on that amount that you decide, you know, that we decided would be my paycheck. The rest of the money above and beyond expenses that uh, you make would be dividend income and is not subject to Social Security. It's just subject to regular income taxes. And we found that we were saving 15.3% on, you know, every $100 over the amount that we were paying me, which was a few hundred dollars a week. And back in those days, I was ma making, you know, more than that uh, over and above my salary. So, you know, I was saving uh, probably, you know, $60 a week back then, $60, 70 $80 a week. Uh, in Social Security taxes. And I said, oh, wow, this is pretty nice. And periodically we'd go back because there were other things you had to pay for. There was an annual uh, incorporation tax, uh, 200 and something dollars. It's not really too terrible, but, you know, it's it's something that you pay for the right to be able to be a corporation. But still, it's a lot less than what you pay for Social Security. Um there, you also had to pay, uh, was it uh, uh, state unemployment tax and federal unemployment tax? But those things are tiny, tiny percentages. And it's something that we could live with. And if you never filed, then sometimes you didn't have to pay anything at all. So naturally, I never filed on my own unemployment tax. Now, you might be thinking, oh, gosh, do I really, should I really incorporate? Is it really worth it? Fifteen dollars and 30 cents of every hundred that you make over whatever you're paying yourself. Now, if you're working 
part-time doing this, you might only say, okay, how about if I pay myself $100 a week and I'll take the uh, Social Security taxes uh, out of that and the other um, estimated taxes, which is really pretty small um, for $100 a week. It's, it may not even be anything. Um, you, you, put that a, you put that aside and you'll pay it quarterly. They want it, uh, an estimated quarterly tax from you. Um, but the thing is, if you're making $500 a week at your part-time job, you're saving $60, over $60 a week in Social Security taxes. That's $240 a month, at least, in Social Security taxes that you'd just be flushing down the toilet. Because I'll tell you what, you're not ever going to get anything close to that money back. Uh, anyway, if you're thinking about maybe working under the table, let me tell you, this is a very dangerous thing to do. Uh, if somebody that uh, somebody writes you a check or gets a receipt from you gets audited, they may take a look at that receipt and go, hey, look at this. Here's a guy getting paid cash to clean windows. I wonder if he's for real. wouldn't take long for them to look that up and find out you're not paying any taxes at all. They will descend on you like the wrath of God. Um, and even in the pre-Internet days, you wouldn't believe the quirky, weird ways you can get caught. Some politician um, was getting uh, raked over the coals in the local paper here for uh, frivolous expenses. Some some inside job. Somebody had taken uh, um, what is a, a ledger of his and made a photocopy of it. And there was some offending, outrageous expense. And it showed up on the front page of the Sun. Well, guess what was under that offending expense? Marsh window cleaning, six dollars. Uh, so here it is. It, if I were not compliant with the tax laws, it's on the front page of every paper that Marsh Window Cleaning gets paid $6 for cleaning this guy's office windows every two weeks. So, you know, if I had been under the table, I'd have been worried about that. So, let me tell you, play by the rules, pay your taxes. Not only because you might get caught, but it's unethical not to. Have a good day. I wanna live my life so that I can be proud when it's all done. Will it be more? I wanna do great.